everybody. Welcome to this day. It is Saturday, January 9th. Now on our show today, we have Radnet and we spoke with the Senior VP of Operations, Chris Gordon. What a lovely woman and she's got lots of great information about how Radnet is helping uh, you with all of your radiology needs. Then we also have Meridian Active Senior Living and they uh, are now handling the location that's right down the street from us. So we're gonna talk to her about all the lovely things that they have to offer. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our regular COVID resources that we normally do for you. We have covid19.ca.gov, and then we also have occovid19.ochealthinfo.com, and then they have the hotline, which is 714-834-2000. You could go to our website, which is lagunawoodsvillagealerts.com. And then, of course, you could always email us any questions or concerns at info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. Now, our weather is looking nice this weekend. And then next week, we have a nice little warm-up that I think you're really going to enjoy. So today, we're looking at 72.50. Tomorrow, 72.49. And then partly cloudy on Monday, 71.50. And if you're traveling this weekend, the beaches are going to be a very nice 6750 and it should be clear down there. Mammoth 4417, Big Bear 5023, and then Palm Springs 7350. Now our sunrise this morning was at 656 and our sunset is 501. And Alan, thank you so much for sending in this nice photo in honor of Joe Rainey who passed away not too long ago and they had a service right down the street. And he sent in this photo of all of his keepsakes. So thank you, Alan, for sending that in. If you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, please email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. All right, when we come back, we will have Rednet, so stay tuned. Under the RADNET umbrella, prostate imaging is one of our most important men's health initiatives. We have an exclusive team of prostate-dedicated radiologists that read thousands of images from all around the globe. These radiologists are utilizing advanced technology such as prostate MRI, which offers some of the most detailed visual representations of the prostate gland. When it comes to men's health issues, listen to your body and take a proactive approach. Talk to your doctor, begin screening, and take charge of your health. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Chris Gordon, who is here on behalf of RADNET, and she is the Senior Vice President of Operations for Northern California. But even though she's in Northern California, they still have a lot of work down here in Southern California, and you tell me you were born and raised down here. That's correct. I was. I was born and raised in Southern California, and I remained, oh, well, my family remains down in Southern California. Uh, I moved up to Northern California in 1997 for work. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, so you've been up there a while and, you know, it definitely is a different atmosphere up in Northern California, but nonetheless, RADNET is the same, whether it's in Northern California or Southern California. So welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here. So it's been a real challenging year for so many people um, last year, and we've talked to a lot of RADNET doctors and executives Give me your take on what are some of the challenges that you guys had to overcome last year? You're right. It's been a very difficult year. Um, uh, the unknown is always a little bit scary and, and uh, uh, trying to navigate something that just wasn't unknown was difficult for us. For RADNET, I think like many businesses and, and individuals, we obviously uh, went through this thing and had to try to uh, figure it out and navigate that. Uh, for our organization as a whole, it had uh, severe financial implications. Um, obviously, we saw impacts to our business over the period of months. Um, but really what we did was we did everything we could to learn as much as we possibly could about the virus, about the transmission of the virus, and took precautions and looked for the answers of how we could continue to navigate our business 
and uh, keep our employees and our patients safe. Um, I think the biggest thing to say for RadNet, and this goes across the board, is that we made a firm decision that we were going to keep our doors firmly open so we could continue to service the needs of the patients in all of our communities. And we're very proud to have done that. Um, it wasn't always easy to do that, clearly. There were times when our business was impacted up to 70%, um, where we saw decreases as, as the population was also trying to figure things out and, and were fearful and didn't quite know what to do. Um, but even through that, we kept our doors firmly open so we would be here for the, to continue the, the medical services to those patients that needed them. Absolutely, and, and, and very well said because across the board, we, like I mentioned, we had spoken with many of the RadNet doctors, and the one thing that they really tried to stress for everyone is don't wait. Even though you might be afraid to go to your radiologist and, and have those, those you know, x-rays or MRIs or whatever needs to be done, you should not wait. And, and your, your reiteration of all the things that you've had to do to stay safe should help them help ease their mind. But, but now we're running into something a little bit different. Uh, we've got surges of COVID-19 in the hospitals, which yes, is actually do. impacting the hospital's capability of doing any types of radiology and, and some other services. So how has RedNet stepped in? That, that's been a really tricky dynamic, I think, um, because that's true. The hospitals are clearly today under a tremendous amount of pressure. Um, but still that other element does exist where there are those individuals that do need to go to the hospital, that do need that care, that are still concerned and fearful of doing that. Um, what RadNet has done is understand that we're a healthcare provider and that, again, we need to continue to encourage people to create a safe environment for them to come to, um, to make certain that we're looking at our services and access to those services and being a part of that messaging that people do need to continue and take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that one of the things that I've noticed most is how the messaging has changed over the last number of months. Originally, there was a lot of vagueness to uh, you know, don't do anything that's not essential. And the population was left to try to interpret, what does that even mean? And unfortunately, a lot of folks uh, interpreted it essential to mean that unless I feel like I'm, I'm going out right now, you know, I just need to stay put and stay home. And consequently, there was a lot of death and loss uh, in addition to COVID, not related to COVID, because folks uh, were concerned and afraid to go in and take care of themselves. I think the most important message that we can all share is that we need people to make certain that they continue to take care of their health care needs. There are all these other diseases and processes and there's cancers and these things that exist and to stop your care or to impede diagnosis care for those things is not what we want to be doing right now. Um, for us, it's to know that we are a part of the architecture of the healthcare delivery system, and that we're here to support that and serve that and get your physicians what they need so they can continue your care. Um, that's the mission of our company, right? It's to, to help people stay well and um, that, that the hospital doesn't have to be the go-to for all those things, that there are other services like RadNet that are there to support many of the services that are needed for diagnosis and continued care. So, so let's just say, for example, uh, I, I, need to, I need to have a mammogram, and I usually go to a local hospital to have my mammogram. So now it's very possible that I won't be able to go into the hospital to have the mammogram. So how does your facility kind of step in to help out in that situation? Well, we also ha have uh, partnerships with a lot of the hospital delivery care systems. Um, and so our, the idea with us is that we have always been in, in um, practice to create a cost-effective, high-quality alternative. So we offer 3D, 2D, 3D mammography services. We offer breast um, sur surgical stereotactic breast biopsies, breast MRIs throughout our network of services as well. So a patient can come to us and continue to that, that care that they need continue to get their mammogram done. And again, during um, the most heated time of this pandemic, when 
uh, there was some confusion about whether or not a patient should go and get that care. We were here to provide that service because we do believe that that's so important, so critical. Um, that's what it's about, early detection and then getting the care that you need. So Ratnet's here to service those needs um, today, uh, before the pandemic, and, and we will be for, for many, many years to come. Excellent. And then, you know, looking forward, here we are in 2021 already, and we know that things are not, we haven't really gone over the hump right. quite yet. We're still waiting for that to happen, and now we have the vaccines. And do you think the perception uh, of people and your patients will change going forward? I think that the, it's going to still take some time. I, I think that the sensitivity is definitely community to community, and it depends on the positivity rate in an area, uh, the news coverage in an area, uh, demographics, the age of a population. And so I think we still have a ways to go uh, to where we clear this, but I'm very optimistic that in 2021, uh, with uh, the distribution of the vaccines, as, as we see more and more of that happening, um, and the fact that we've been able to demonstrate that by following the common sense rules, um, that quite frankly have always sort of been the common sense rules, uh, sanitization, you know, wearing your mask, the things that we've been told, that we can do these things safely moving forward, and uh, to hopefully impart that confidence in our patients and in our communities that, that we can do the right thing and we can still take care of ourselves. Um, I'm very optimistic about 2021. I, I am grateful for it uh, because while we're not completely out of this pandemic, um, I do think we're closer to it being a, a very distant and uh, painful memory, um, but it's taught us a lot of things, right? And it's reminded us of things we, are, we already know. I, I think about, uh, you know, when I was a child growing up, the adults in my life telling me things, you know, look both ways before you cross the street. Uh, you know, oh, don't put that in your mouth. You don't know where that's been, you know, those things. <laughs> and, and today those things are, are, you know, wash your hands before you go somewhere. Um, wash them before you leave when you get home. Make certain that you wear your mask. Uh, you know, wipe things down. Do things like that. And if we do that, we can continue our lives. We can continue care of patients. And I certainly want to encourage those patients that have a need for health care to take care of themselves. Um, Radnet, that's why we're here. We're here to continue taking care of folks regardless of what the circumstances are. And we've managed to do that and create safe environments, again, for our employees and our patients to continue to do that. Don't neglect your health. Um, and I think 2021 will be a brighter and a much more gent gentler year. At least, at least that is my hope. That is our hope for sure. Thank you for that one. Uh, in talking about maybe expansion or some exciting things that will be happening with RedNet this year, can you share some of those with us? We're constantly looking at the expansion of the scope of our services. Uh, but with that, we're a company that's also involved in research studies. Um, we are involved in AI development, anything and everything that makes medical care more accessible, more readily accessible, more cost efficient for patients, um, and more inclusive so we can assure that we can service all communities. So we're constantly looking at and continuing. It's almost a, it's become a very routine thing for us to expand um, the scope of our services and the geography of our services recently into Arizona, but also throughout California, uh, big expansions in Southern California. So does something that Radnet has constantly has its hand on the pulse of that, and then listening very carefully to what does a community need? Um, what do we need to be in that community? And looking for opportunities to do that. We have a lot of specialty applications we've gotten involved in. Um, we do things like prostate MRI, of course, breast MRI. Um, but Radnet is a company that is very progressive and even when uh, a circumstance stalls other organizations, it's when we look for opportunity to play a bigger, broader part. Uh, so I think you'll see a lot from RadNet in 2021. Very exciting. And, and I look forward to learning more about all the things you just mentioned, especially the AI part, because that right. is, I know we talked about it last year, but this actually the year before that. And so I'm hoping for some really good information. So perfect. Well, thank you so much, Chris. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you as well. Thank you very much. All right, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to, to you as well. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.
At our new Memorial Wave Imaging Center in Laguna Woods, formerly Orange County Diagnostics, you can expect the same precise imaging, multiple modalities for your imaging needs, and the same friendly staff with medical providers like Dr. Syed Sharakni. The Laguna Woods Transportation Service offers convenient access right to our door, and we continue to provide the care and compassion that you expect from our new Wave Laguna Woods location. Hi, I'm Vince Ferragamo. I spent some of my best years as an NFL quarterback, but today I've got a new team, and we're helping seniors who spent their best years fighting for our country, defending our freedom, and informing the nation. Our hometown heroes need help. AgeWell Senior Services is their lifeline. Nonprofit AgeWell can do all of this because you care enough to give. Please join me in supporting AgeWell. Donate today. Today I am joined by Maureen Salonga, and she is the new executive director over at Meridian Laguna Hills. Well, Maureen, thank you for being with being with us. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So you're the new director and a name change. So what did it used to be called? It was formerly Villa Valencia. We are now the Meridian of Laguna Hills, a luxury Pacifica senior living community. That sounds, that sounds awesome. I mean, the name sounds way better than it was before. Uh, it's, it sounds like a resort. Tell me about yeah. some of the things that you guys have changed. So we, ha we offer assisted living and independent living to our seniors in Orange County. We do have the, Berid the beautiful Meridian Club, which is located in our executive floor that has breathtaking views of Orange County. Um, access to our Sky Lounge, which is beautiful for our residents to relax and have meals and have happy hour. <laughs> okay, awesome. And then I know that you uh, you said there was a new restaurant. Yes, so we do have the Meridian, um, the grill restaurant, which we offer brunch daily with meals cooked to order. So which is really nice for our residents, it's very exciting for them. Did they not have that before? No, we did not have that before. So which is really nice. Wow, wow. And then in terms of, you know, it sounds like you have different amenities. Did um, room, did rooms change or costs or things like that? Yeah, so we do. Our rooms are upgraded with um, nice, count, beautiful countertops. Um, we do have a beautiful courtyard offering our residents from to enjoy exercise, happy hour, and also to socialize with their friends. Okay. And um, can't forget about our putting green. Um, we have putting green contests that leads to cooling off to our swimming pool which is really nice. And also they get to relax with the massage and book a hair appointment at our salon. My gosh, well, it sounds like you have everything all inclusive. Tell me about your background. Where did you come from? So I actually transferred from Pacifica in Orange County also. I'm also a nurse, so which is really nice. So I get to be involved in the residence care. Um, been a nurse for probably over a decade, been in an assisted living and I truly love it. Well, what are some of the what are some of the special things that you've experienced in helping people who need assisted living? So, you know, just making sure placing them in the, the right environment here. We have independent assisted living. We pretty much can offer every senior um, a place to stay here. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice giving, you know, giving them that special care and the one on one and providing the services that they need here. Well, it's not an easy job what you have. I mean, being the executive director of that many people and, and varying, you know, needs and things like that, it takes a lot. So, so when you came, you came from another facility that was similar yeah. to what you're in now? Yes, I've been in assisted living. Actually, you know, I came from another Pacifica. So oh. I pretty much know the model of Pacifica. So it, that makes it a, a lot easier transitioning to this community. You know, being with Pacifica, so what does that mean? I mean, what, what type of values and mission statements are they sort of striving for? So customer service. I think customer service is the number one thing for our residents, especially during this time, listening to them, um, giving them what they need and what they deserve. Right. And, and then, of course, you mentioned, 
you know, during this time, obviously there's a lot more isolation, uh, they, they can't have visitors. Talk to me a little bit about some of the things that you guys have uh, prepared for during this pandemic. Absolutely, so we do have a barrier screen that is out front. So families can visit their loved ones um, by making appointment by the concierge to visit. So which is really nice and it helped a lot of families and residents seeing their loved ones and made them really happy. So they have that option to visit. So a barrier screen, do you mean like a plexiglass? Pretty similar, it's a screen. Um, the screen will be in between the resident, between the resident and the family member. So mm -hmm. um, they can enjoy their half an hour to an hour a meeting and see their family because I know most of them haven't seen their family in a while. Right, exactly. And then how about for uh, instance, like dining and things like that, what type of uh, preparations have you made there? So we do have a, we have a large dining room area, so we are able to social distance and residents are still able to sit with friends and socialize and staying six feet apart. So that is something they're able to do. Yeah, well, that's nice. I mean, unfortunately, they can't see their family members and, and there's probably limitations on visiting and, and exiting and things like that. So it, it's something to certainly be concerned about because many of your residents are at the highest risk. Yes, so, but well, they're that's still good. enjoying the community. We have lots of activities throughout the day where they can social distance. Um, our residents are enjoying it, even though you know it's difficult right now. We are making it happen. That, well, that's good to know because obviously they need to keep their minds off of you know being isolated and things like that. So that's good that they can mingle with each other. Uh, is there yeah. anything else that you'd like to share with our residents? Um, yes, you know I would like the residents to contact us or myself to have a tour or, and we can give them more information about our community and what we have to offer. Well, that's great. Well, welcome, so welcome to your new position and uh, I'm sure we'll be visiting with you again. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, Maureen, thank you. You're welcome. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome to the Meridian at Laguna Hills, a newly multi-million dollar renovated community. Located in beautiful Southern Orange County, the Meridian at Laguna Hills blends quality senior care onto the bright canvas of Laguna Hills life. With a luxurious five-star resort style community and a dedication to resident care, you can experience an exquisite senior lifestyle unlike any other. Discover a community filled with care and their freedom to pursue what matters most. It's a new day and it's yours. Make the most of it at the Meridian at Laguna Hills. People with hearing loss only know the way they hear, not how much better they should be hearing. How well are you hearing? Are you understanding 60% or maybe only 30%? You don't know unless someone measures your hearing understanding ability. People are wearing hearing aids that are underfit with power, not programmed properly, the physical fit is too loose or too tight. Find out what your understanding score is with a special word test from Advanced Ear Care. Stop in today and tell them Stuart sent you. movie for today is The Matrix, so very action-packed with Canal Reeves, and uh, it's about Neo who believes that Morpheus, an elusive figure considered to be the most dangerous man alive, can answer his question, what is The Matrix? And that is brought to you by the City of Hope, and you can watch that at 3 p.m. with subtitles and then 6 p.m. without subtitles. And then let's go ahead and talk to you about Monday. There is going to be an online Zoom uh, from the Alzheimer's Orange County. And Dr. Trin is going to talk about COVID-19 and memory loss. Now, that will be between 10 and 11 a.m. It's going to be at 10 o'clock. Now, in order for you to be able to participate with that, you need to send Sunshine Lute an email at the email address that you see there and she will send you the link and it is a free event. So should be nice to know because, you know, somebody probably has lost their memory because of COVID-19 and because we aren't working our memories quite as well as we have been when we get out and about. Let's take a look at our weather one last time. It's looking quite nice today and the next couple of days and we start a warm up. 
72.50 for today, 72.49 tomorrow, and then Monday, 71. 50 with partly cloudy skies. And if you are traveling this weekend, beaches are 6750, Mammoth 4417, Big Bear 5023, and then Palm Springs is 7350. You can watch our program again at 1230 today and then at 5 o'clock. And then we will be back on Monday with another update from Jeff Parker. And we will have Joan Milliman, who is going to be here on behalf of GRF. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye. for Valentine's Day. Are you? Come in and see our great selection of cards and gifts. We have everything you need to show that special someone how much you care. And don't forget those grandkids either. Diane's Hallmark has many cards and gifts for them as well. Diane's Hallmark is located in the Marketplace Center right next to Hobby Lobby. We have something for everyone. Come in today and take care of all your Valentine's Day needs. At Freedom Village Assisted Living, we provide loving care and support when your loved one needs it most. We believe in laughing more and caring more. Dining will be an experience, not just a meal. We offer opportunities to create new memories. Your family will feel like they are part of our family as we work toward creating an extraordinary difference in lives worth living. To schedule a tour and complimentary lunch and for more information, please call us at 949-340-8108 or visit our website, freedomvillage.org. Memorial Care Saddleback Medical Center, we are a magnet designated facility, which means that we're in the top 8% of hospitals across the nation that are recognized for high quality patient outcomes and nursing excellence. And what that means is that we have nurses that are highly engaged and enthusiastic about their workplace, that we have lower vacancy rates, lower turnover, and high nursing satisfaction scores. COVID-19 is a serious respiratory disease. There are simple steps we can all take to stay healthy and protect our community. Wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and warm water. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces daily. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue or elbow and avoid touching your face. If you do have symptoms like cough and fever, stay at home and call your doctor. When we all do our part, we can keep California healthy. For more information, visit covid19.ca.gov. Thank <laughs> you.